Hello and welcome. In our previous video, we had seen how to register an app in Azure portal from where we had sent an email from our Outlook account with the help of REST API to our Gmail account. If you have not watched our previous video, please check out the video. The link is in card section. In this video, that is in part 2 video, we are going to implement similar thing wherein we are going to send an email with the help of APIs from our Outlook to Gmail account but with the help of OIC integration. So first and the foremost thing to begin with integrating OIC with Microsoft Outlook or Microsoft Mail is we have to create the OIC connection. I am here in the official documentation page by Oracle on using Microsoft email adapter with Oracle integration. Under create a connection there are details provided by Oracle on how to configure the connection. You can have a look on this. I will provide the link in my blog. Please refer the blog for more details. For demonstration purpose I have already created the connection. Let me show you what I have done in this. I have opened the connection. First, we need to provide the client ID which we had copied in our previous video and we had saved it in our notepad. That is client ID and application ID are one and same. Client secret we had copied at the time of creating the application and we had saved it in our notepad. If you don't know how to get the client ID or the secret created, please check out our previous video. So that we have provided it over here. And in the scope, when we tested it with the postman, we had made use of Graph API, wherein in the scope we had provided mail.send. But our Oracle Microsoft email adapter is making use of the Outlook version 2 API, that is this one. But currently this is deprecated by Outlook. Applications which were previously making use of this, they can continue to make use of this. As of November 17, 2020, version 2 Outlook REST API has been deprecated. So Microsoft recommends migrating our applications to Microsoft Graph. But as of now, Oracle Adapter still supports Outlook REST APIs that is version 2. So for that, we need to refer this documentation if we want to know how to send the email. I will provide the link for this documentation as well in my blog. Please refer the blog for more details. As per the Outlook version 2 REST APIs, the scope must be provided like this. We have to provide the URL that is outlook.office.com slash and the scope name that is mail send in lower case mail.readwrite and offline access like this. So once you fill all the details and click on this provide consent, it will ask you for login. Please login into your Microsoft account. So once you get the pop-up or the page like this, we have to close the window. Then we have to click on test and save. We will get this 100% mark for our connection. So this was creating the connection part. Now let's create OIC integration. For demonstration purpose, I have already created integration that is test Microsoft Mail Outlook integration. Let me edit this integration and walk you through the code. I have exposed the integration over REST protocol that is it accepts the JSON request. In the request, it accepts the two address CC subject and the body and in the response we will get whether the message sent is success or failure. So I won't open the wizard for this trigger. As I already told how I exposed the integration. Now we need to consume the adapter connection which we created just now. Let me show you the wizard in edit mode. As we are testing this integration to send an email from Outlook to Gmail account, I have named this endpoint as send mail and in the operation I have selected send a new message which is exactly similar to what we have seen in this documentation that is this one create and send messages. If you are looking to reply to a message, forward a message, how to pull an attachment, copy a message, move a message from one folder to another, uh, get a message from a particular folder, create a file attachment, how to delete an attachment, how to delete a message, all those things you can do by selecting appropriate operation based on your need. If you click on the next, here you will get the endpoint what Oracle uses for building this adapter. As you can see, it is making use of outlookoffice.com API version 2, which is deprecated as of now at the time of recording this video by Microsoft. So I will close this. In the mapping, in the mapping, we need to pass subject and the body. Here in the content type, we have to tell whether the content is text or HTML. Accordingly, we have to fill this content type value. And in the two addresses, we can give the address and also the name is optional. If you want, you can mention. If any attachments, we can attach. Save to send item, if set to false, it won't set to save to send items. If you set to true, it will save. Same thing, I have mapped it over here.
in the body i am setting the content type to text and in the request what i am getting in the body i map it to content and in the subject also it's a direct mapping one to one and in the cc i am mapping the address what i get in the cc element in the request directly in under cc recipients email addresses and address name if you want you can map to recipient as well it's same i'm mapping the two address what i get in the request over here if you have attachment we can mark this as has attachment it's a boolean true or false then we can map the attachment over here where we can provide the name whether to embed it in line all those information you can assign if you want to send the attachment if you want us to cover all those things please let us know in the comment section so that we will cover in our future videos based on the requirement what we get from you i will close this so in the response mapper i am just mapping result is success or not now let's test this integration i'm here in the testing window for test ms mail outlook integration i have filled the details in the cc i am giving bnum.apps at gmail.com which is our gmail account id in the subject i am giving test oic integration hyphen 01 and 2 and the body like this let me verify from my gmail account if we have any emails from our outlook account as of now i don't have we are having only one email which we had sent in our previous video that is with the help of postman client i am hitting on this test button now it is showing send success now let us verify from here let me refresh this page yeah as you could see we have got one email yeah i got this email from my outlook account that is bnum.apps at the rate outlook.com subject and body it's same what i had sent from our oic integration Suppose if you encounter an issue wherein when you provide the consent in the connection, if you get an error message saying redirect URI is not proper, then we have to provide the redirect URI like this. This we have to replace with the host name of our YC integration and we have to provide or update in our Azure app. So that is under app registrations. Click on this app and here if you click on this redirect URI, here you have to update. In our previous video, we had embedded our postman's callback URI over here in this video I had replaced this way my OIC integration callback URL this change you need to do except this you don't have to modify anything in our application it is exactly same what we had seen or created in our part 1 video here is the bonus tip for the viewers who have watched completely our video we can make use of the Microsoft Graph Explorer over here and we can test any REST APIs which is provided by Microsoft, be it for Outlook Mail, People Contacts, People Planner Search, Security, SharePoints. If you are looking for integrating Microsoft Teams, the Teams adapter is not yet available in our Oracle Integration Cloud. Suppose if you are looking to integrate Teams wherein you can send a message to a particular channel, like sending a notification from our Oracle Integration Cloud to a channel whenever any error occurs or any transaction happens, then that we can do it with the help of Microsoft Teams. We need to directly select any of the operations over here and we can test this. So in this Microsoft Outlook integration series, part 1 and part 2, we had seen how we can integrate our Oracle integration cloud with Microsoft Mail or the Outlook. Please do like this video and subscribe our channel and thank you for joining us in this video.